This latest fighting comes as the country prepared to celebrate its fifth year of independence. However, the world's youngest nation has cancelled official celebrations. Minister of Information Michael McQuay told reporters that the government has decided to spend the little money that it has to solve other more pressing issues. President Salva Kiir is still expected to address the nation on July 9th. Residents in Juba are divided over the move. Until today, we still have not enjoyed the freedom that we were looking for, and we are crying for it. We know that we're facing a lot of challenges, but our independence anniversary is above everything else, and we are happy that we have reached the fifth independence anniversary, and I am really happy with our independent South Sudan.